these are the forgeries of jealousy. And never since the middle summer spring met we, on hill, in dale, forest or mead, by paved fountain or by rushy brook, or in the beached margin of the sea, to dance our ringlets to the whistling wind. But with thy brawls, thou hast disturbed our sport. Therefore the wind, piping to us in vain, hath sucked up from the sea as in revenge contagious fox, which, falling in the land, hath every pretty river made so proud that they have overborne their continents. The ox hath therefore stretched his yoke in vain. The ploughman lost his sweat, and the green corn hath rotted ere his youth attained a beard. The fold stands empty in the drowned field, and crows are fatted with the Murrian flock. The nine men's morris is filled up with mud, and the quaint mazes in the wanton green, for lack of tread, are undistinguishable. The human mortals want their winter here. Therefore, the moon, the governess of floods, pale in her anger, washes all the air that rheumatic diseases do abound. And through this distemperature we see the seasons alter. Hoard-headed frosts fall in the fresh lap of the crimson rose, and on old Hyam's chin and icy crown, an odorous chaplet of sweet summer buds is as in mockery set. The spring, the summer, childing autumn, angry winter change their wonted liveries, and the mazed world by their increase now knows not which is which. And this same progeny of evils comes from our debate, from our dissension. We are their parents and original.